A growing problem among American youth is satanic and occult worship. Bored with drugs and alcohol and left unchallenged by the church, American young people are experimenting in increasing numbers with satanic worship and practices. In Albuquerque, New Mexico, before a crowd of over 10,000 who had gathered in the Tingley Coliseum, Mario Murillo brought one of the most important evangelistic messages of the 90s. In an anointed and fiery message, Mario skillfully exposed the deception of Satan in a message entitled, Satanism Unmasked. At the conclusion of this powerful service, nearly 1,000 young people streamed forward to receive Christ and publicly renounce Satan. And tonight, frankly, I'm here to steal Halloween and make it a Christian holiday. He told me that without witchcraft, without Satanism, that his group, Black Sabbath, would never have reached the heights that they reached. They required witches and incantations for everything. I am not out to get the Satanists. I'm out to get Satan, but not the Satanists. We are mad at your fun because the young people of this generation need to know that the moment you find Christ, you don't become a dried up pickle in a jar that's checked out of life. But you have a good time, my man. You have an awesome time in the spirit of God. I'm not here to get you to shave your head and sell flowers at the airport. The American way of life is very cruel. How many of you have seen that ad on TV that shows the fried egg and says, this is your brain on drugs? Any questions? What do you call it when children gravitate toward ninja turtles? Now I'm going to look at you all and tell you that white magic and black magic is like talking about white AIDS and black AIDS. Yeah. My brother, please don't interrupt these proceedings. Thank you. But there is an aspect of Satanism we refuse to accept, that Satanism itself is the heroine of addiction to the devil. And tonight we begin with the marijuana. Our remedy will not come from a Ouija board, a pentagram, or anything that Shirley MacLaine has to say. Everyone laughed when Pastor Rob Carmen said, your mailman might be a Satanist. And I want you to know if you listen just for a second, that you need not leave. Don't leave. In fact, I don't know why I've said that, because nobody's leaving. I have never in my life had much confidence in my own ability to speak 